a ton of powerful weapons from previous seasons are no longer available to obtain. Or are they? Well, in this video, I'll go over a few ways you can get old weapons and a way you can farm them for their god rolls completely solo. I'm Marshix and I make Destiny 2 guides for solo players. If you enjoy, all I ask for is a like on the video. The first way to get old weapons is through Xur. Every weekend, he brings 7 legendary weapons and an armor set. These each cost 50 legendary shards and some glimmer. They could be any of these weapons. Yes, there's a lot. Things like the old Ikelos weapons, Nightfall weapons, Iron Banner weapons, and seasonal weapons from Season of Arrivals, Season of the Hunt, Chosen, Splicer, and Lost. And while these do have the potential to be sold, some of these haven't been offered yet, so check back every weekend to be sure. Another easy way to get old weapons is from Banshee. Every week, he has 6 weapons for 30 legendary shards each. These can include all of these weapons. Some newer ones, but also quite a few older ones too, such as the future war cult weapons from Season of the Splicer and a variety of Season of the Lost gear. He does only sell weapons, but if you're looking for armor to turn into ornaments, you can check out Ada 1 in the Tower Annex. She can sell all of these armor sets, and each piece will cost 25 legendary shards. The only downside to those vendors is that they come with predetermined perk rolls, so if they have the weapon you want but a bad roll, you're out of luck. But there is a very straightforward way to farm for god rolls of weapons. But first, if you enjoy this video, leave a like down below. The first farmable source is through Dares of Eternity. Each week, there are specific weapons that can drop from the end of Dares of Eternity. It's on a 3 week rotation, and the loot pools are massive, so don't expect consistent drops. The first week drops the faction weapons and armor, the second week drops old Mars and Titan armor sets, as well as old Vanguard and Crucible weapons, first and last out, the Ikelos SMG and Sniper, and a few Reckoning weapons. The third week in the rotation drops the old Io and Mercury armor sets, alongside the 7th Seraph weapons, the Season of Arrivals weapons, Truth Teller, and Nature of the Beast. The other way to farm for these same weapons is by opening Paraversal Halls. These can be purchased from Star Horse for 7 strange coins, or they are guaranteed drops from all of his bounties. These boxes can drop the same loot as Dares of Eternity, as well as exotics, and have a chance to refund some of your strange coins. Since you get strange coins through Dares, you can run that a few times, and simultaneously get the resources to open these boxes, for even more gear. Now, I'll be honest, the grind is pretty slow, but it's the only way currently to farm for these weapons. Of these weapons, I definitely recommend you grind for the Ikelos SMG, Falling Guillotine, Main Ingredient, First and Last Out, and Gnawing Hunger. I still use these regularly to this day because they're the best at what they do, and those arc weapons could be really good with Arc 3.0. If you're interested in getting Bright Dust for the new Eververse ornaments, check out this video. Thanks for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.